Okay, we're going to take a moment to further look at this tab right here on our objects. When you get down past order, you'll see that there's a linking tab. This one is very interesting. You can link an object in Smart Notebook to a web page like this. If you have the web page URL, you simply type or copy and paste the URL into that address. Decide if you'd like a corner icon or an object, and I will show you what that looks like, the difference. So click OK. This is a corner icon. If I click that little icon, it is a link to our Saskatchewan River School Division web page. If I right click on this again, I can get my drop down, go back to my link, and I'll show you object. So if I choose object this time, it is still going to go to Sask River's web page. I'll hit OK, but now the link is not there. Okay, so if I click the entire flag, it will take me over to the Sask River's web page. So it's a way of hiding your links. But every time I click that flag from now on, it will take me there. So now I'm going to have to do something called a marquee select. So I click away from my flag and make sure that I drag my, my um, finger across the entire flag, let go, and I will get my handles again. Click the drop down, go to link, and I can change it back to a corner icon. You can also link this to a page in your file. So every time we click the flag, I would like them to go back to the welcome page. So let's do corner icon or object. We'll do corner icon first. So you'll see that the corner icon right here looks like that. So every time we click that flag, it takes us back to the first page in our document. Let's do them. Let's select it again. And this time go to link. We'll do the object. Okay, this is a way to hide things and make it look very mysterious. So you could have this be a answers button. And every time the kids clicked it, it would take them to the page with the answers. And let's go back. Next, we'll take, do the marquee select again because every time I click it, it's going to take me to that first page again. This time link, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to link to a file on this computer. So all you would do is search your computer for any file that might be appropriate for your lesson. So for instance, if I would like to link this to one of the SmartBoard Beginner videos, I could click and link it to a video. I could link it to a Word document. I could link it to whatever I like. Next, we have current attachments. So right now, there are two attachments. The attachment tab is right over here. So if you click on the attachment tab, you'll see them in there as well. Now, you can, I will link it to this one, how about? So I'll choose that item, and I'll say OK. Now, when you click on that, it'll automatically take you to the YouTube video that it is linked to. I'm going to do my marquee select again so that I don't accidentally click on my flag and take myself there. Go back to my link. This time, if it's a corner icon and it's a current attachment, I'll show you what it looks like. Now it looks like a paperclip. This paperclip is live. The rest of the flag is not. So you can see the advantage of having the entire flag linked versus just the paperclip. And that is linking. Now if I wanted to remove that link, I could click the remove link right here. And now it is no longer linked.